Nice to see you. Good to see you. Congrats on everything. Thank you. One of my favorite movies of all time is Alien. This is the first note that have been hit to that degree from a movie since then. Yes, some, some striking inspirations for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, people are gonna ask you after this, what was the hardest part? Because it looks relentless and clearly most of it's not green screen. You're doing this practically, you're in that suit. Yeah. Um, yeah, really common question. Uh, like in interviews about movies is always like, hey, what was the hardest part of making this movie? This is, or like, what was the hardest, what was the most sort of, you know, difficult aspect of your job, whatever. That's people are really interested. Yeah. And you always kind of like um, downplay the minor sort of discomforts of like making a movie because it sounds silly. You're like, yeah, we got to have this amazing experience. We we're all together, like telling this story. Like the fact that it was cold kind of doesn't really matter. This was absolutely horrible, like the worst experience I've ever had on a movie ever Finally. in my entire life. Finally, and, the truth comes Yeah, out. and we're like allowed to say it. <laughs> like right. usually like, it was great, we loved each other. We liked each other, fine. This was awful, physically harrowing, really scary, claustrophobic, like um, a genuine experience. Because anybody that's yeah. done diving knows that you get somewhat claustrophobic, but you're in the yeah. suit for what, like 12 hour days? Yeah, never, never underwater for 12 hours, but our suits weighed as much as we did. So like, ratio-wise, pounds, like suit to body weight, I, I was, I had like, you know, I, I had like my twin on my back every day just yeah. trying to like take me down. Um, yeah, and I also like don't love water a whole lot. I'm scared of it. It was one thing that attracted me to the movie. I thought it was interesting, you know, to put, to, to put a bunch of people, uh, um, in that type of peril that you're so subject to your environment that you're like kind of utterly helpless. But then we spent three months or four months being like utterly helpless and subject to our environment. So like, you know, it's a great time. It's a really good time, this movie. Speaking of good times, it's probably a good time to be you because for the last decade, you've pretty much been able to handpick whatever project you want. So why this? What made you say, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to kick some ass underwater. <laughs> um. Uh, I really, I, I loved the director's first movie. Um, it was called The Signal, and he did like a sort of remarkable amount with a really tiny budget. And I, I love like taking a chance on a first time filmmaker. Um, they always bring like a freshness of process. There's always like a new portal into the creativity that's always like in, in, um, exciting and igniting. And um, the idea that these characters were starting off at the very beginning at the point of crisis so you didn't really know them and so the whole time you're going like that could be me um and i, I there's also something cool about nora who i play in the film uh being somebody who has like n nothing to lose typically you have like a female character fighting to save her life because there's like my son's up there, I gotta pull through for him, and my, my boys are up there, or I've got a husband or a boy, it's like yeah she's really like doesn't doesn't have much to start out with. And the humanity of, of, of what it is to have empathy just like floods her in an instant and she'll like do anything for anyone that she doesn't know. And I just thought like, that's a cool crisis movie. It's like when, when things really hit the fan, I think like at the end of the day, people kind of come through for each other. And that's why I thought it was a good movie. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah. Congrats on this and everything. Thank you nice so much, man. Nice to see man. you. Yeah, you too.